guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Aria Artistry here, and today I'm actually gonna be doing something different in honor of Earth Day, Peep the Makeup, um, you guys already know I posted it on Instagram, so follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Today we're going to be going over some eco-friendly things. So I am newly eco-friendly and I've been slowly trying to, you know, better myself, use less plastic, all that good stuff. Um, I just wanted to share with you some things that has helped me transition. I do want to start using less plastic, you know, paying attention to my waist. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's it <laughs> before I get into the video though please subscribe to my channel be a part of my mermaid squad if you are new here I'm Arielle I do makeup videos I do vlogs and don't forget to put the notification bell on so you know whenever I post a new video so yeah let's get started I'm actually gonna be showing you six right so I'm gonna be showing you six easy eco-friendly swaps that you can do to save mother earth So I think I'm gonna do things that aren't related to makeup first, and then I'll do makeup related things after. Yeah, cause that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> so the first easy swap that you can do is water bottle. So I'm tired of seeing this. Everybody now should own a reusable water bottle, especially ones that keep your water cold. It's so much better for you. Like. This is just a no-go. I got mine from Starbucks, and it's this pretty pink one right here. And I believe if you go to Starbucks, they give you like a couple of cents off if you just reuse uh, any cup. I don't, I don't think it's a Starbucks cup. I think it's any cup. So yeah, and I really like this one because it has a straw, so it helps me drink water faster. This one doesn't keep your drink cold, but I mean, it's fine with me because it has a straw. But I'll definitely link some alternatives down below if you guys want like a cooling water bottle um, and all the other products that I use are gonna be listed down below as well so don't worry I got you so yeah this is like such an easy swap like I see everybody that has these now so there's no need to go out and buy water bottles you can get a water filter and just use this so you can always like refill your bottles um, I know that some places have like water bottle refillers and yeah get yourself a water bottle so a second easy swap that you can do are reusable straws. So these plastic straws are so, so harmful for sea life. I know you've guys seen the turtle that has a little straw stuck in his nose. I know a lot of turtles have died from that, so just stop using them. If you're out, just try not to get straws. So the straws that I use are these bamboo straws right here. So I really like them because they're just so sleek and smooth. And this one is called Jungle Straws. I got this off of Amazon and it comes in all different sizes. So you can use a smaller straw or you can use a bigger one for smoothies if you want to. And it does come with the cleaner and it comes in this cute little bag. I love this bag, it's so cute. And if you are like kind of worried about like not seeing inside of the straw because that was me when I first got these, um, they do have glass straws on Amazon so you can like make sure it's clean so you don't have any like leftover bacteria or whatever. So I usually stick to um, either the glass or the bamboo straws. And I actually really like these because it comes in different sizes, like I said. So, moving on. My third easy swap is gonna be my last one that's not makeup related. So it is these plastic bags. So, these plastic bags, I know everybody is like so obsessed with plastic bags and it's just a thing. I don't know, I'm just over it. I'm over that because it's just a single use thing. Like, I'm trying to stop using single use items because it's not recyclable it's not biodegradable it's not good for the earth so i have these reusable bags right here it actually comes with six of them so you have this little size right here you have this bigger size and this is great because you get to wash it and reuse it i know it said that it was freezer safe it's refrigerator safe um it is dishwasher safe it just said be careful in the dishwasher like put it on low or something i don't have a dishwasher so i don't have to worry about that but all you have to do is just wash it and then you can put like whatever you want in here. It's pretty awesome. Then you don't have to worry about the single use plastic because you can reuse these bad boys. And going off of these reusable bags, you can also use a reusable shopping bag. So they have shopping bags out there. I think I have about like six of them. I will link them down below so you guys can see them. But it also comes with like produce bags as well. So you don't have to get the little plastic thing when you're shopping for like 
bananas or tomatoes or like anything like loose like that. So you can use that instead of uh, plastic bags. And grocery stores are pretty cool with it. Uh, I've been even like in this pandemic, I've been using my own bag. One for sanitary reasons because it's been out, you know, and everybody has been like breathing and you know, there's a pandemic going on. So I'm trying to not touch everything <laughs> you know what i mean so i'll just bring my own bag and they're pretty cool with it because like one you bag your stuff yourself and two like you're just not using the plastic so they respect you like they're like oh cool glad that you have your own bag you know so yeah this is adding on to the reusable ziploc bags you can use a reusable shopping bag and a reusable produce bag and the ones i got are pretty big and pretty wide so it fits a lot of stuff so Let's move on to the makeup stuff. So if you see my last video, you know how I feel about these guys right here. So I've been watching all of these um, eco-friendly videos cause I'm working on being eco-friendly and these stupid little makeup wipes, I think we use like, I don't know what the math was. I'll put it in, but we use so many and I don't even use these like that. I just use this for like filming and stuff, but I'm not buying these anymore. Definitely try to get a reusable makeup wipe or something because these little things are not biodegradable and it's just a little stupid makeup wipe. So that is my makeup wipe brand. <laughs> So these are makeup wipes. The only reason I have them is because these are for my clients. I'm not gonna be getting them anymore. I'm just gonna use regular makeup remover. So I just have these stupid little wipes and I talk about how terrible they are for the earth. That being said, I love these makeup erasers. You guys probably seen these. It says erase your face and it comes with three of them. So all you have to do is literally wet it. As you can see, I put my makeup on this. All you have to do is wet it underneath the water and then wipe your face off, like that's it. So I love this because it's reusable. You can use it so many times. I think this is a lot better than just using the single wipes. And honestly, those wipes don't really take all your makeup off anyway. Like I think this does a better job and it's reusable and you're saving the planet. So perks all around. So for my fifth swap is these cotton swabs. Everybody has these. Um, mine actually doesn't have, um, plastic this actually has paper these are okay i guess i'm not like too educated on this topic which i should have researched before i even talked about this but <laughs> here we are um mine are just paper but some of them have plastic on them and that's not biodegradable so i actually got these cotton swabs that have 100 percent bamboo cotton so on the stick it's actually bamboo and it has cotton on the end of it so it is biodegradable but if you don't want to get this i believe you can get the paper ones which is like not as bad for the environment because it'll be biodegradable. I think this is just like a slight adjustment. Um, you honestly don't have to get this. If you're like a beginner, you could just do with the paper one for now, but just make sure it doesn't have the plastic because even this little thing can harm the earth and you don't wanna do that because it's just, it's not fair. This little plastic thing, like that's ridiculous. And my last tip for switching over is these cotton rounds right here still inside a plastic. So these cotton rounds are cotton, which is great, but it is a single use object, product. So I just think it's better if you get the reusable ones that actually comes in this little bag that you can wash them with. So this is microfiber. I feel like this is better because it gets more off. So you can literally just put this on and you could use your toner, you can use your makeup remover and then just wipe it off like that and there you go. And you could reuse these. So all you have to do is just put it in this bag, zip it up and then wash it in this bag so it doesn't go all over the place. You don't have to buy any more of these because you already have them. And this is about 20 of them. So I think that is way better than buying plastic, first of all, and then reusing these stupid little things and look at the size difference like i know they have bigger ones out there but compared to this like i think this is the way to go so yeah those are all my little eco-friendly tips for how to become eco-friendly if you're a beginner um i don't know too much about the topic like i said i just wanted to do this for earth day and i don't know encourage you guys to use less plastic in the world um i do want to 
you know, start using eco-friendly packaging for makeup and everything. So I'm just, I'm still in search of that. I have to find like my right skin tone and all that stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I did announce that I am cruelty free now. I'm no longer purchasing products that have been used or tested on animals. So I just wanna do my part just to lessen my carbon footprint. I think it's just gonna be better for the earth. I know it's just me and I'm one person, but if we all chip in, we can all make a difference. And remember, reduce, reuse, recycle. Remember they used to tell you that in school? Now I'm like, damn, why didn't I do that all these years? So how I'm doing the eco-friendly thing is I got all this stuff for the video, obviously, but I'm still gonna be using all the stuff that I have so I don't waste it. So that's just like a pro tip to be eco-friendly. Don't go out and like buy all this stuff, be eco-friendly, and then get rid of all the stuff that you had because you already bought it. Like, don't just let it go to waste. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. But like I said, I bought all this stuff for the video so I can show you guys and some of the stuff I already did have. So yeah, if you have any other questions, definitely um, ask me in the comments down below. And if you have any tips or anything that you can help, um, me <laughs> then also leave that in the comments down below because i'm trying to better myself with this eco-friendly stuff another thing you can do too is start shopping at the thrift store like i'm gonna start doing that i'm not gonna be buying fast fashion anymore because it's just so harmful for the planet so once we can go out and go shopping and stuff again i'm gonna start shopping at the thrift store and i think i'm gonna start doing thrift flips on my channel like taking stuff from the thrift store and upcycling it so if you're interested in seeing that let me know in the comments down below because i've been watching a lot of those videos and it just looks so fun to do and now that i have my sewing machine and my little craft section set up um i do have a video of me creating that so i'll leave it down below and yeah i just think it'll be such a fun project for me to do so let me know in the comments down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video it is a little bit different than what i do i just wanted to you know like help you out in how to become eco-friendly if you were interested i hope you have a happy healthy earth day i hope you guys are safe and staying positive in this time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be a part of my mermaid squad. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.